Welcome to Zen Dragon, a place to better yourself for martial arts. Now, the weather is blowing and it's raining, so I'll try to speak loudly and clearly. I'm here with a broadsword, also known as the Dao, a Chinese broadsword. Now, this is a, a sword used for practice, so neither side will cut you. But the idea of the broadsword is that this side is not the blade, so you can actually hold the side without getting cut. This side is the one which slices and chops. Now, for this reason, as you do a block, you can actually push on this other side, or you could even use your shoulder to do the block. So I'm just going to go through a few movements and explain some things and then I'm going to do an improvised form for inspiration. Okay, so first I'm just going to explain the spin. It's really simple. You keep the handle between your thumb and your index finger. You need to hold not too tightly. Then you just uh, do this with your wrist, like a round motion. You go from up, down, and then you turn the wrist to complete the spin. It's like this. And don't be disencouraged if you can't do it to begin with. All it takes is practice. Now, that's also doing an eight sort of movement like this and what you do is you start up with the point of the sword you bring it down then you bring it up you bring it down up down like this okay so that's mostly the flashy stuff which will add to your confidence now, to, in order to be able to chop harder, to gain more momentum, if you have time for it, if the opponent isn't ready to strike for you, then you can bring it up around your head, so you have more motion. When you strike, instead of using just your hand, you can use your hip to direct the sword. When you strike, you never wish wanna you never wanna strike to low because then you leave yourself low. If you want to strike low like that, then it's better to use the stains to bring your head down as well. Like this. Then you still have the blade protecting you. And what else? Like uh, you can use a spin, like with the spinning elbow. If you want to do it closely, then you'll just do the usual one, spinning with the opposite foot, the left foot, if you're holding it in your right hand, like this. However, this is a sword, and if you want to have even more of a swing, then spin with the right foot as you're holding it in the right hand.
watching. I hope you found some inspiration. Now you go out and practice.